It's a lot better though, doesn't it, Billy? Oh, it does. You know, the people have complained about the the building which is going to take place, but it's not always been open land, has it? You know, there's been a paper mill here and a one way or other. There's always been a business here and people have been restricted access. to access down here and it's only since the paper mill was pulled down that people started walking down and nature took over well if you look to your your right here Bill and they've cleaned all this out here Animals. well this is what I was saying to you last night about what I'd heard about in making this empty canal here into a into a, a road to ease the traffic congestion because can you imagine I mean let's just say for example they build 500 homes down here how many cars oh, yeah. is that going to put on the streets of the community so it's going to delay people even further so they're going to need some sort of relief road. I mean, obviously change is inevitable. <coughs> you know, it doesn't, whichever way you look at it, something has to happen. And, uh, it's, you know, they've been trying for many, many years. I think if we can't stop many people, no matter what. Well, no. Yeah, but you can see there's a vast amount of land here, isn't there? It's vast. And they've already got a road in and out, haven't they? Yeah. Cleaned all that up down there as well. They've been down in past and put a uh, weed kill down on the hogweed, killed it all off. There's a, a big IBC down at the bottom there, and that's what they must have had the weed killer in. Quite a lot of land. I mean, how, how many people do they employ? I mean, I know in the early, you know, in the 70s, uh, they used to be on uh, shift work. They'd work 6 2, 2 10, and 10 6. And they'd always have a night watchman on as well. Because when we were little, we used to come down and get our magazines out of waste. They took waste down at the shoot was round down at the bottom. Yeah. Thing is, to imagine if you did a I don't know if you make that nice scene with a Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah. It would have been nice. I mean, how much are these properties going to cost? You know, they'll be the state of the art, I would imagine. Flats. But, they've not done anything about this dilapidated building down here. Not yet. So not do that. The roof's missing off it. Have you seen that down there, Bella? 
Well, it's not. It's not. It's kind of uh, hanging, hanging down. <coughs> they must be thinking about coming this side up as well, Billy, because. <coughs> They've been killing the weed kill has been. Yeah, but you can't on, you know. Yeah. This is where the bridge collapsed, is it? In 19. Well, it, did it just give way? Yeah. <laughs> so they've been. We've been up here as well with it. As you can see. I'll tell you what, Billy, this this ain't been done by the, an IBC. <coughs> we'll just have to see what it's like next year. Struggling, pal. Pastel, you can have that. Go on, you're alright. You get going. This canal here is no more than three foot deep. And considering all canals were made seven foot deep, there has to be an awful amount of silt in there. I think that's Burgess's farm, is it, to me? Really? Yeah. Kersley Mill over here. You just see it in the background. Horses, she shouldn't be out on that horse, you know, to be fair, Billy. No, it's not a... She can't control it. I can pass that bit my hand, man. <laughs> Look like uh, somebody going out, driving a vehicle. He doesn't know what it's going to do next. Can't get a clear shot there. Where I am today is uh, on the Manchester, Bolton and Bury Canal. This is actually part of the Bolton Arm. And this would have taken you to Bolton. And if you went up this way, you would eventually come to Bury and further on. quite a wide section of canal here so I would imagine there'd be quite a bit of traffic up and down in the day this section is around a mile long and then it goes over to a different section which would be a little lever and then on to Bury a beautiful autonium, autonomous colours
back in the 70s this was a this was a premier fishery you could come on here at any one time and you'll probably see 100 anglers but of course back then people were always skint so they chose to spend the free time going fishing rather than going doing and carrying out other activities as a kid I used to come up here get any maggots mate and then we'd have a free night's fishing you know I'd get home from school get an empty bait in tap a bit of bait and then go and spend the rest of the evening fishing here's Ozzy I mean, obviously, this canal is not in use anymore. And the fishing, hardly anybody comes fishing anymore. I don't know why, because there's some really nice fish in this stretch of Bolton Canal. There's actually still some of the original, uh, the original canal carp, which were put in around 1960 that's a long time ago you can see the canal going narrow look a bit further up well, I think you're finding most on most canals where the canal actually goes narrow they usually have ridges etched into the banking you see if there's any on here have a closer look I mean they're not on every one right but yeah, they do have them here, do they? Yeah, you see these here. Yeah, well what they are, there's one on the other side there too. Well, they were used for putting stock planks in. And what they would do, they would close the water off and stop it coming through and then carry out any additional repairs that's what they would do and they'd always do it at a narrow section the narrowest section of the canal now we're approaching what we call the basin now I would imagine This area, was, this area was used for perhaps turning round because you can imagine the barges or box boats were about 20 foot long and they would needed or they would have needed quite a significant area to carry out a turning manoeuvre Down there we've got the River Irwell. But we've just walked up there. And now we're heading over towards the little lever section. But this would be the basin. Nice little wild camping spot there to be fair. More ends.
course at this time of year it's quite quite chilly but pleasant when that sun comes out and you can feel it warm in your face as you can see there there's more places to put the stock planks when we're carrying out repairs on the canal. One here. Yeah, they'd have type of planks what slotted in there and they would build them across the width of the canal and then that would seal the water off. which would of course then enable them to carry out any repairs. You'll find them all along, along any canal bank. I mean, it was an ingenious idea to build waterways like this, to, tr to transport goods. Yeah, we're sure heading for winter now. We sure are. Christmas is only around the corner. Christmas 2022. Where is this last three years just gone? tow path because not long ago it went under repair to put all this stone down but the cobbles which you can see here they were originally put down of course just to look a bit higher up from where we are now there would have been the workhouse where uh, the blacksmith was work, he would carry out his work, shoeing the horses, bending metal, twisting metal, heating metal up, making bolts. That's what he would have been doing. Repairing the bolts, the badges. The box bolts. They were approaching on the right hand side up here. Some canal side cottages. This house up here. Would have been some very really important big wig, I would imagine. ones over here bathing
Come at the right time for that, didn't we? I think we're showing off then. But yeah, these are the Kanasai cottages. And then, as you can see in the distance up there, there's a new or relatively new Meccano bridge. This here would have been the workhouse. They used to build kennels here at one time. Apparently. Down here, somebody's reported the seen ghosts. So we oh but that was the command is the command at Meccano Bridge. And this here is now an overgrown section of what used to be the canal. Canal's very wide here. Very, very wide. You see, on the side there, it's got to be at least, I don't know, 20 foot in it. Now, in 1936, the canal breached here. We can see. <coughs> yeah, it breached. All the water went down there into the river over. Round it here. But this is the bank of the canal. <coughs> <coughs> and this is where it breaks here. You see the bank of it? The canal bank there. See, see the so you can see, and you can't because of the sun. You can see the, the breach there. Well, like, can't zoom in because it's a GoPro, but. 
canal that I come across here. We'd be in the canal now. This is the other bank of it. The bank wall. <coughs> so technically we are in what used to be the old canal where it breached. Yes. Of late, Watson's Watson Construction, the building down here somewhere, and I think they're trying to restore part of the canal system. And it looks like they've already started it by removing all the trees what were inside here. Believe me, there are a lot of them. So here you can see the bank here. Where it breached. And when it did breach its bank, just imagine the chaos it would have caused. Only one day. Everything's also in bottom. I don't. Yeah, the hustle and bustle of barges coming up and down, horses towing the barges. Then all of a sudden, bang, it stopped. And since then, in 1936, come on, come right. on. The canal system got stopped using, hurt was stopped being used. And over the already water beginning to go back in that said we have had a lot of rain over the last few days now this is in this area where we're approaching now used to be the paperwork And it is here where lots of construction are supposedly building a property development. So at one time there would have been a factory here. And we bought them the side of it. And then the canal would start again here. When the factory was here, the steam pipes and everything in this area always used to be full of sludge and oil. Again, this is another section of the disused canal.
as you can see, the canal picks back up here. Now this section will take you through to Berry. And it's been blocked off here. There's a bit of an overflow. You see there the tree which has grown from within the banking started lifting the canal bank Now there's a bit of time elapsed since I filmed the Bolton Arm of the Manchester Bolton Bury Canal. As you can probably see by, there's not many leaves on the trees now. It's quite a few weeks since I was up on Bolton Canal. So I just thought I'd have a walk up the little lever section today and perhaps conclude the video which I've got which needs to be finished off with this section here you, you see the grass on the other side of the canal there well that is what's left of an old box barge there are quite a few of box barges on this canal there's one just a little further up here as well Now when I did mention earlier, I did hear when Watson Construction start the development, I did hear that they was going to fill this canal in and turn it into a road to ease the congestion which that property development will bring to this area. There's a little small base in here. Now if you look over there where the camera's pointing, where the trees overgrown and more of the grass, well that is actually another box bolt which has been stood there since they stopped using the canals. It was a long time ago. Yeah, the grass has grown round the box boat. And when that dies back, you can actually see part of it. I wish I could get over on the other side. But yeah, that was a box boat. see the River Irwell down there where I go and do a lot of wild camping down here carrying out the bushcraft activities now the canal is going narrow it goes narrower on this, so like a bit higher up. So I would imagine there are some more slots in the bank to fit in the stock planks when they're repairing the canal. There's a squirrel on the tree over there, I don't know if you can see that. It's a pity I've not got my catapult with me. I'd have that for my tea tonight. You see it in the tree. So you can see in the canal here. 
where the stock planks would go and again in down here obviously they won't be needing those again down there into the forest Now this area, what you can see here, which has been fenced off, well this used to be a big pit, coal mining pit, and here is where they carried out repairs in this particular area. You can smell worms. Yeah. So you could imagine, pre-1936, the blacksmith would have been hammering down and making bolts, shoeing off, shoeing the horses, etc. And we're just going to have a walk part way up here. I'm not going too far up. But yeah, all this area at one time was a working pit. We'll just go down here. Let's see what we can see. much this area is Lady Shore and there used to be a colliery down here what I'll do we'll just have a walk over this area there's a little bit of an information board here and I'll see if I can get it for you here's the information board follow this path down to the bottom it would eventually take you out where the businesses used to work from now I know we're not far from the canal and the public footpath but let me just show you this area here absolutely perfect for hammock camping look at this two trees there to store your hammock across nice little area for a fire but how perfect is that hey Aussie big pile on massive Like I say, it's not very far from the, the tow path, but nobody ever goes there. Some Canadian geese and ducks and drakes. Some swans up here. Teeming with wildlife. And obviously when they start building, they'll push that wildlife away.
not too far up here there's an old steam crane which would have taken the products off the barges and box boats and then transported them to the local area Quite a bit of weight that duck has. very cold today I just walked past my car windscreen and it's all froze over and the canal's pretty much like this all the way to Bury all the cattails there you know you can eat every part of that but the real bounty is inside the stem come from Native America I think and Native Americans they used to eat those especially the roots very starchy What I usually do, I usually cut them down, split the cane <coughs> and then take the middle out. I just eat that. Come on. Morning. Come on in mate. Good morning, mate. All these Canada geese. Now, this is the steam crane I was telling you about. And what they've done, they've put some Harris fencing in front of it to keep people away from it. Been there a long time that has. Now this crane, see what somebody's done. They pick the dog dirt up. They just put the bag there. They piss me off people like that. But this crane. It would have unloaded goods from the box and barges, from the box bolts and barges. And they would have transported them down there where there was a paper mill. Amongst other businesses. In fact, I think the paper mill's still there. Oh my gosh. I think this is, this is the Dingle Lodge. Oh my goodness, look at all that weed, there was never any weed in here a few years ago, but look at it now. There's a heron sat under the tree, don't know if you can make that out. And we're going to walk back now, I've come as far as I want to go.
Got us eight. I just wanted to walk to this crane and show you how they used to take the products from the box and barges, er, box bolts and barges. Blimey, me, Larry. I bet that were a slow, tedious task unloading them. So yeah, so this is just part of the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. And I'll, like I said, this part here will take you to Bury. And all the way through to Bolton. These must be starving. Lots of wildlife. 